Well, I found out about NetFest through a girlfriend who said, you're interested in art, aren't you? And um, I said, yes. And she said, well, we're starting up this new art club. Would you be willing to join? So, so I did. And we became part of the committee of 10 who started up Surrey Heath DFest, so with no experience of NetFest at all. Well, I joined NetFest 16 years ago, and I wanted to be educated in the arts. I knew nothing about decorative and fine arts. So I contacted the local society and was immediately embraced by a very enthusiastic chairman who said, not only would you become a member, but please do come on the committee. I became area chairman not entirely clear what I would be doing and I discovered it was absolutely fascinating job because one was acting as a go-between between between the NADFAS trustees and NADFAS house and the local society chairman. The role of the NADFAS trustees is, is a fascinating one and I think they've done an awful lot to help us to move forward and to get the name better known and also to say, look, we have a really important role that we play in the arts world. And I think it's, we've done a lot of work in the last couple of years to make the name better known and to build partnerships. To support the societies in our area as well, we have focused this year on publicity and marketing. One of the things we've done is improve our area website to make it more attractive and informative to the public. Oh, there are many things that I enjoy about being area chairman, but I think the main thing is the people. Um, you meet some wonderful people through NetFest, but they're passionate and they're very committed and they're always fascinating to talk to. I think because of the commitment and the common goal, you learn so much more about the way NetFest operates, but also about how other art organisations are involved with NetFest and about the aims of NetFest. So I think my earliest experiences of NADFest were to enjoy the lectures so much because here I was relaxing and having time to listen to extremely skilled and, and erudite lecturers. But gradually I realised that it wasn't just about lectures, that there were other things going on. And I think that is what happens to many of us, that we get drawn into the other things that are going on, the heritage volunteers or church recording or whatever it is, and the visits and the outings, and then the holidays. The interesting thing is when you talk to other area chairmen that you realise there is this big common bond between all the societies from around the country but that there's also huge variety. And even in my own area, we have morning, afternoon and evening groups. And they're all very distinctive and they have their own atmosphere as well. So often you'll find people meeting for coffee and staying for lunch or particularly with the evening societies, they seem to enjoy their glass of wine prior to the lecture. And that's very conducive to this friendly, fun aspect that we're trying to promote, apart from our excellent um, and well-known lectures. And I think it's been a most marvellous way of getting to know and to expand one's, one's group of friends. And in a way that surprisingly husbands have come along reluctantly at the beginning and then find that actually it's been a very rewarding experience. It's a, there are all sorts of people involved and my husband certainly became very, very enthusiastic about NADFAS. So overall, uh, we are really making a difference. Thank you.